Skypilot here, welcome to my channel. Recently did a video of the HG LRC. This is the Sector 5, a fabulous little flyer. Everything going for it. Put some new props on. Recently did a fly around. However, there is one thing that puts this particular drone down. And that is the receiver. I have just a standard XM Plus receiver in here, which is really good. However, as this unit is quite punchy and quite powerful, I'm going to need something a little bit better than your standard XM Plus, which, you know, let's face it, it's a good receiver for flying around the house or the yard or the playground, the oval, etc. But if you want to go a little bit further, you want to fly without that risk of fail safes, then you need to grab yourself a TBS RX Nano receiver. And we need to swap them around. So what I'm going to do today is just quickly run through what you need to do to make the big switch from XM Plus to TBS Crossfire. This is the Nano RX. They do have a new range at the moment, really easy to wire up. So this particular RX has the TBS Crossfire Immortal T antenna on it, 3.6 grams, the UFL connector already attached. You can buy this as a kit rather than buying them both separately, so it works out a little bit cheaper. And nicely rubber glued on the UFL, and also comes with some really hard heat shrink plastic. So once you've done your soldering, you can fire it up shrink away so that it's nice and safe and away from components should you need to jam it somewhere so what we need to do is to get the xm plus out and fit the tbs in let's get into it Okay, so there is our XM Plus exposed. I'll just need to desolder and pull it out. Luckily, with the HGLRC, we can easily access our solder points for our crossfire. So let's desolder those and let's attach our new wires. Weapon of choice, TS100, super fine tip. Heats up fast, runs off your LiPo. Love it. So that's the connectors all connected up to the flight controller. So 5 volt, negative, RX and TX. Unless you have super duper eyesight, which I don't, you yeah, invest in a magnifying glass. That way you can double check, make sure you haven't bridged any connections and that you solder to the right pads otherwise you're in trouble okay so before we do the finishing touches I will run a dry start and just make sure everything is as it should be make sure you connect your VTX antenna otherwise you might burn something out Looks good. Okay, all hooked into beta flight. Just running the crossfire binding protocol on the rear. And she's now bound. Green light's on. Let's set up beta flight. So hook it up to beta flight, guys. Go straight to your ports. Make sure you select the appropriate UART. In my case, I believe it's UART 1 here, which I've just turned on. Then go down to your configuration. And you need to make sure you have your serial base receiver selected and scroll down to you find your CRSF, which is obviously Crossfire. Save and reboot and check your receiver. Make sure that you do have some sort of input there, which I do. And make sure that our modes work, which they do. So we are good to go. We shall save that and back to the workbench. So I'm happy with the beta flight connection and it's configured properly. Now I'll just do a dry run, make sure the crossfire is talking properly. 
on the bench here when you do do this guys just make sure everything is clear and all your little screws are out the way otherwise they'll just be blown away and of course make sure you've got no wires near the props if you can leave your props on which i don't advise doing however i'm just gonna do it got the beeps of faith going crossfire looks like it's all on and let's see if we have a connection That's a big yes. Nice and safe again. So now that I know I have configured beta flight correctly, I have wired it up correctly. Now I shall just do all the housekeeping, put all that together, and let's go for a rip. The HG LRC sector already comes with a crossfire mount, so it was really easy to put in, which is great. Pretty sure it's going to stay away from the props really well. I don't think the props are going to knock into them unless I have a bit of a crash, then they may clip. There you have it, gang. Looks good, guys. So I just need to sort out my on screen display. Uh, I just need to make sure I have my link quality set. RSSI etc and we are good to go smash that thumbs up guys I'll have a field test coming up very shortly take it easy see you next time Skypilot catch you later